Hi, good morning from Brother Glenn, Scotland, Dean from Innis Image Ministries. I've been sitting here listening to the church bells ring. Familiar sound when I was a young man. Haven't heard it in years though. No churches where I stay in Pondown, South Africa, that ring their bells on a Sunday. This is a reminder of a call, a call to the faithful, a call to the elect and chosen of God. Not that we should forget, because living in Christ is a permanent state. It's not an in-out. God in Christ Jesus brought us into his day of rest. But as I'm contemplating what my spirit is picking up here in Scotland, and it's not just about Scotland, because we carry far more than that. We carry the burden of a world in Christ and um, I feel stirring in my spirit as I'm pondering on what's coming and what God's doing because a wise man once said if you know what God is doing go and do that and so we've had many reformations and many reformers reformed our institutions reformed our systems and reformed our structures. Church history is replete with that, full of it. But the reformation of our systems didn't bring about the purposes of God. It just changed the nature of, of the way we did things. And those changes were never lasting. They brought some measure of life, but that life, if we examine it, was probably just about, well, we're doing something new, whether we were achieving anything different. The results speak for themselves. We've had many revivals where the gospel gets forgotten and the truths are lost. And there's a revelation process and truth is restored and truth begins to be preached and men's hearts are fanned into flame. But once again, those fires seem to burn out. So what is God doing now? My sense in my spirit man is that we're entering into a new phase, entering into something that has occurred spontaneously right through the ages, but it was never a mass movement. My sense is that we are finally entering the transformation of the believer. that something fundamentally different is taking place. There's a shift taking place in the inner being of the Christian. Which Romans 12, 1 and 2 is a massive shift is becoming a reality. What we are going to see in the earth is a fully mature Christ man. I don't have to tell you what the scriptures are. Ephesians talks about it. Galatians talks about it. Christ in us, the hope of glory, in full revelation, full exposure to the world. The glory of John 17 manifesting in the body of Christ, in full maturity, full knowledge of faith, full stature and maturity of the Christ man in us. 
We've seen individuals enter into that. We've never seen a full manifestation of it. And as I'm here and I'm meditating and I'm, I'm pondering and I'm listening to the bells, the bell tolls. The greatest change in all the earth is about to break loose. Men are looking at the darkness, but Isaiah told us thick darkness would cover the earth. But then, listen, but then the glory of our God would rise in the greatest manifestation in the sons of God, fully revealing the full stature of the image and likeness of our Messiah. Hold on to your horses, people. Hold on. The time of waiting is busy closing down. That gate is shutting. And heaven's gate is opening wide. And the King of glory will appear in our midst. In our midst. In his body. In his ecclesia. The full transformation process is breaking loose on us. Lift up your eyes and see what is coming.